AI will replace humans has been a very popular headline lately. So, should you fear for your job? The short answer is no. And let me give you four reasons why. Number one, most jobs that we have won't see a huge productivity bump because of AI. In my previous video, I covered the history of productivity and the impact AI might have on productivity. And we will see a very big productivity boom, but that's only for the desk workforce. For 75% of the workforce, work has a physical component to it. Nurses, carpenters, taxi drivers, teachers and cashiers. Yes, their work will change because of AI, but it won't see a huge productivity boom overnight. Number two, work has always changed and it will continue to change when AI comes into play. We don't have bowling alley pin setters anymore. We don't have VCR repairmen or switchboard operators. About 70% of all the jobs that existed 100 years ago don't exist anymore. And the world is better because of it. We have robots, we have Netflix and we have cloud telephony systems. Number three is that big jumps in productivity have never led to less work. We've seen a huge bump in productivity between 1870 and 1970. This did not lead to less work, however. If you look at the data, there are more people employed right now than ever before. During that 100 year period, we did, however, start working a lot less hours a week. And it might be time to continue that trend. Number four. We are really bad at adjusting our behavior and AI won't change any of that. Digitalization promised a new boost in productivity, but that never really happened. This might be because we spend about two and a half hours a day on social media and these very addictive devices. What this really shows is how big the behavioral component is when it comes to adapting to new technology. Only 30% of all knowledge workers know how to type with 10 fingers effectively. And loads of knowledge workers still don't use the keyboard shortcuts for copying and pasting. And people are still creating documents on tools like Word that represent a typewriter, a tool that was supposed to be phased out in the 70s. And we are still running companies like there are factories producing a T-Ford. We are simply really bad at learning to use new tools and new skills. And I don't see AI changing any of that. But what if we do want to become far more productive in this digital age using these AI tools? Well, here are some things to take into consideration. There are some huge benefits that can be gained by the knowledge worker. I'm not exaggerating when I say that you can become 25 to 40% more productive using AI tools. But you have to learn the skills and learn the tools and you have to spend time on training. Training your knowledge workforce to become digitally fit is one of the best investments an organization can make. If a workforce becomes more productive, the gains will end up at the shareholder. So what if we share the proceeds of these improvements? So what if we started working towards the four day work week? Now I can imagine that a four day work week might sound ambitious at first. But working a few hours less might be a great place to start if the total organization is willing to invest in it. Now it's also good to realize that your organization isn't working in isolation. If we know that the work will change, we should be reskilling our workforce together. Something policy makers could also be focusing on. Now one final word to the people developing these AI technologies. It's nice that these technologies can replace humans, but it's not the best for humankind. It's way cooler and way better for society if these tools augment the human workforce. Research shows that this reduces inequality and it's a far nicer outcome for society. Now, to be honest, I hope I'm very wrong. I hope AI tools make all of us way more productive. And with our workforce aging and becoming smaller because of it, AI might actually be a blessing in disguise. Thank you Voice for making these videos possible and thank you all for watching and I would love to see you in the next one. Cheers!